I'm talking with general manager and head coach Lee Stone following a 4-1 victory over the West Shore Wolves. And boy, it was a heated affair. The big thing, I think, is your power play. It came back tonight. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know what? At the end of the day, when we follow structure, good things happen. And uh, I think sometimes in the power play, guys, you know, talented group out there. And guys kind of sometimes try to do their own thing a little bit. And I thought today, you know, I, we, we executed almost to perfection on numerous occasions. And obviously, that's why we scored three power play goals. It was the difference in the game tonight, I thought. And uh, certainly, we're very happy about that. Oh, that goal by uh, Tolsey, that was just a beautiful setup. Didn't it remind you of Brett Kinley a little bit? Yeah, yeah. One time. Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean... The thing is, is, is we were talking to the guys about our power play structure, and like to me, I said it to the boys when they came off, you, you literally could not execute that any better. Uh, <laughs> gotta love the Zamboni bu buzzing away like that while we're trying to talk, but you, you, I told the boys, you couldn't execute better if there were no penalty killers. And, um, you know, Slane's walked the line perfectly, Kramer, you know, had, made a perfect play on the half wall, found the down low guy to, to, to Tramps, and, and obviously Tramps put it on Tolsey's tape, and he put it back in the net. I mean, to me, that's... Again, literally how you draw it up uh, with, with no PK guys. So I thought the boys did a great job for sure. Got to talk about Aaron to Cook. He was phenomenal tonight. Yeah, for sure. We're, we're obviously thrilled with Cookie. Um, you know, I think the thing is, is he, he was struggling a little bit there, probably dating back probably three weeks now. Uh, we gave him a week off. Cam kind of sat down with him, did some work on the ice and just talked to him. And since then, he's, you know, he's put up, I think, three one-goal games, you know, 96 to 8 percentage plus in all three games. So... Certainly that's what we're looking for out of our goaltending, and uh, we're very excited about him moving forward. When I talked to Sunil Karad last time, one of the things he said about the Comox Valley Glacier Kings is they're going to surprise somebody sometime. Are you expecting them to come out full of bear tomorrow night? You haven't got a point tonight? Yeah, I think certainly they surprised Peninsula tonight, taking them to overtime. I mean, uh, Matty Smith's a hell of a goalie, and uh, they worked their nuts off those guys down there. There's no question about that. Camper has them committed to the system, and... You know, he, he's kind of said it right from day one. It's going to take time, but I think they're getting there. And, uh, you know, they've had a couple of real close games recently, uh, ourselves included. <laughs> we went down there and didn't have a great game against them, I guess, three weeks back now. So we, we got to come ready to get, go. We, we talked to our guys even today. I thought we had a great game, but we didn't start on time. Our first period was really weak, and we, we have to be better. Thank you very much for doing this. Awesome. Thank you.